Graham Christensen, president of Burke County Wind Energy. My um, actual address is in the OPPD area, 5653 South 186th Avenue. Um, thank you, President Gates, Chairman Miller, uh, and the rest of the board for having me. Uh, this is my second trip here. I'm mainly here just to give a quick update on where the project is. Um, we've had some kind of breaking things going on uh, that, have, that I wanted to be able to share with you folks. Um, and I also wanted to say, you know, the good news to a lot of what we've heard today is that there are opportunities right here at our hands to be able to implement more renewable energy technologies to be able to make some things happen in the future. Um, and before I, I, I briefly go through a couple of the things that happened, I just wanted to quickly address your production tax credit issue. In 2007, uh, Farmers Union, who is who I'm actually employed with, uh, led efforts along with a, a large coalition of groups, including our public power districts, to create the Seabed Law, which actually opened up a, a public-private partnership so we can access the production tax credits. And my project, you know, looking at that, would be definitely reliant on, on an equity partner, uh, a large private sector company that can come in and be able to have the tax appetite that our 22 farmers that make up this project don't have. And so um, there are ways to be able to utilize it and move forward. I, I think in a quick manner while, while things are as cheap as they are right now. And that's one of the points, you know, I just wanted to make. Uh, I heard somebody else say 2013, you know, I, I don't know that we're going to get a production tax credit again. My thought process is we're looking at rate stabilization. We want to implement as much wind energy right now as possible and then start looking at some other scenarios down the road. Uh, you see other renewables like solar dropping, you know, uh, there's natural gas opportunities for pairing even and stuff like that. but. But right now, implementation of wind to stabilize long-term rates as a hedge to rising carbon costs, uh, transportation costs with coal and those things is, is very crucial um, at this point. And, and I definitely encourage you folks to look at, you know, uh, trying to do a bunch of this moving forward as quick as possible. So I, I do feel a sense of urgency, even on our project, to be able to try to take advantage of this tax credit that, that we really don't know if it will be around again. Um, with that being said, regarding our project, the, the biggest update that I wanted to share is we did our second round of transmission tests, uh, including the system impact study. And the results <coughs> came out exactly how we had hoped that they, they would have. Uh, what, what these studies showed us is that there was, there was no reliability issues being caused by, by our turbines on our, our local transmission lines. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, um, peak, off-peak, summer, winter. All megawatts towards one way, all megawatts towards the other way split up in any direction. Uh, things were things were cleared. Uh, also, um, the Southwest Power Pool lines, uh, there's no interference uh, on onto those lines, so there's not going to need to be further transmission tests. So, so uh, we're now uh, seriously looking at, at partners to be able to to uh, work with to make our project a, a reality. Um, just one hour right up the road um, is is one of the reasons that. We are, you know, expressing interest still in, in having increased dialogue uh, in a number of different fronts with OPPD um, and, and other entities that we're working with in the public power world. Uh, we're starting to explore avoided cost rates and see how uh, that fits into some of our numbers. Um, so, so there's those opportunities, but I also think that a very intriguing opportunity in Omaha would be this uh, other mechanism that Nebraska Public Power District has been working on is, is some form of this green rate. Uh, you may be aware Becton Dickinson is, is, a, is a company, a global company, that is pursuing some of these opportunities. Um, they want to know how uh, their, their customer base is saying, hey, we want a certain amount of you guys, renewable energy, green energy. There's probably some, some places in Omaha that are like that. I don't have connections with those folks, but I'm definitely interested if there is. I think a small project like ours uh, makes a lot of sense and able to, uh, to help some of these kind of businesses keep costs down and show you know, their customers that they are green as maybe some kind of marketing technique. Um, I'm not going to take a lot more time. You know, I look forward to talking to folks in the future, but uh, I just thank you for your time. Um, I'm excited because I think there's a lot of pretty cool remedies uh, in the future here for some of these problems that, that I've heard here before I got up. And, and um, thank you and wish all the best. You do know our Zara uh, wind back there at the right? Yes. I, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've talked to the Renewable Energy Department uh, sure. a, a, okay. few, a few times in the past, and, and, and we do have that line of communication, and, and um, I'm actually going to be reaching out to uh, Vice President uh, Burke as well, because um, I, I know he's had some interest in some of these marketing opportunities, too. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.